What is sync licensing? How to get your music in movies, TV and more. Have you ever wondered how artists get their music featured in movie soundtracks, TV shows, adverts and even video games? Can any artist land sync placements or big money deals? Or is that something that's only reserved for big named artists? See, all of these are good questions and there's a lot to unpack. But if you can get to grips with sync licensing, you're essentially opening yourself for one of the best and biggest opportunities there are for musicians within the current music industry. This is because the level of exposure your music would get from a music sync deal is unlikely to be matched by any other promotional technique or method that's out there. Sync maximizes the chance of your music getting broadcast globally. And it also offers you the potential to form partnerships with brands and so much more. In today's video, I'm gonna explain the need to know basis of what music sync licensing actually is. And I'm gonna let you know how you can go about landing your own sync deal. And plus we've got some extra tips at the end, so make sure you stay locked for those. But before we start, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you do not miss a single video. I'm gonna need you guys to get down in the comments and join the Ditto community, ask any questions, drop any comments, and we'll definitely get back to you as soon as we possibly can. All right, so let's get involved. Let's do this. First things first, what is sync licensing? In short, sync licensing, what's known as synchronization licensing, it refers to any music that is used to support visual content. So that includes music placements in places like TV programs, films, adverts, and video games. So the tracks that you may have heard in car commercials or even songs that feature on FIFA are great examples of a sync placement. As you've probably already guessed, exposure through these platforms can really put your music and your brand out to a whole new and massive audience. And also it can be used to create a certain association with your sound and a brand, a product, or even an idea. So what I'm really saying is that the scope is absolutely massive. So now we know what sync licensing is. What is the huge impact for you as an artist? How could landing one of these sync deals affect your music career? There's no doubt about it. A sync deal could lead to career changing visibility for you as an artist. It gives you the chance of having your music broadcast to a whole new audience an audience that might have never found you otherwise. And plus it gives you a potential reach to global territories. Like imagine having placements on global network channels or video streaming services. Not only that, but a sync placement will help you drive those all important streaming numbers right away up. And therefore will increase your followers and your subscribers. New fans who find you through sync placements are obviously taking the time out to find out who you are, which means they're more likely to hit follow and dig deeper into your discography. And like I said, so with sync comes the opportunity to align yourself with a particular idea, a product, or even a brand. This means sync placements can help you create a sort of community or brand loyalty around you and your music. So let's say you are passionate about being more sustainable and reducing your carbon footprint. Then partnering your music with an eco-friendly brand is naturally gonna be a great way to get your music heard. And those people will be like-minded people, people that have the same interests. So how does it actually work? Let's break it down. Sync starts with music supervisors. The job of a music supervisor is to provide a brief to the music publishers. And this will be aimed at the project that they're actively sourcing music for. So for example, a sports fashions brand might be looking at a high energy hip hop track something that will work with their campaign, something to use in their new advertising campaign for their next line of shoes or trainers. Music publishers then search for their roster of artists and see if anyone meets the brief or actually fits the brand's criteria. And if the publisher does have an artist who they think fits the brief, they'll then pitch that artist's music to the brand for use. But now here's the best part, artists will get paid a flat fee for a sync license. Flat fees are generally the standard price for negotiating sync deals. A sync deal gives a particular brand the right to use an artist's music in their content. Now usually these are negotiated on a case-by-case -case basis, but we're usually talking big money on a single placement. And I mean anywhere from or around $10,000 or pounds. And I mean it could be more than that. And the fact of it is it gets better. On top of that initial flat fee, additional music royalties will be collected and paid directly to the artist. And this is any time that placement is broadcasted, which means one well-placed sync will be earning you royalties for years to come. Now that sounds fantastic, doesn't it? But what does that mean for independent artists or newcomers to the industry? So this brings us back to the earlier question, if sync licensing is more reserved 
for big artists with a fan base. Well, here's the good news, it's not. No matter what stage an artist is in their career, whether they're just starting out or if they're making a big name for themselves, as long as your music fits the brief, any song has a chance and so does any artist. And even so, in the modern music industry, lesser known artists, smaller artists actually have a bigger chance, mainly because of social media platforms like TikTok, and even like YouTube, believe it or not, they are actually the biggest players in this world of sync. These platforms have almost started taking the role of the old traditional A&R services by discovering emerging artists that are already active on their platforms and giving them their next big break with a advertising campaign, all while maintaining the authenticity of that artist. Yeah, so that all sounds great. But the question is, what can you do to increase your chances of getting a sync deal? The number one first thing you need to do is be aware and make sure your music is sync ready. But what does it mean to be sync ready? Well, this is all about having the right licenses and copyright for your music. It's important to have that all ready set up, which will make the process of landing a big sync deal way more easy. So first you need to think about licensing. And there's two licenses which have to be cleared before you can think about featuring your music into any sync placement. The master copyright and the publishing copyright. The master copyright covers the song's sound recording and is usually held by the artist or the record label. The publishing copyright is a little bit less straightforward forward. It covers the song's composition and is usually held by the songwriter. But if you sign a music publishing deal, then it'll be held by your music publisher. And if there's more than one songwriter on the track, then each artist, each songwriter needs to give their permission. And they'll all have to do that before the license is fully cleared. The next thing to think about is your metadata. Music metadata is so, so important, especially when it comes to trying to land a competitive sync deal. If you're a little bit unsure about what metadata is or what it could mean for your music, you can check out our recent video where we go into more detail all about that and I'll leave the link down below in the description so you can check it out after the video. But for pitching a sync deal you need to make sure all of that metadata for your music is present, correct and up to date. That includes making sure the name of any composers or co-writers is right before sending your music to the publisher. This will just mean that the publishing licensing we mentioned before can be cleared without any issues or any legal issues down the line. And then finally, join a collection society. Now, whether you're pitching for a sync deal or placement, regardless if you're doing that or not, artists need to be signed up to a collection society. It's the best way to make sure that you're getting paid for any royalties that you earn and that you're owed. But for sync deals in particular, the sync license will need to be cleared by your collection society at some point. So it's important that you're registered as a direct member of your country's royalty collection society beforehand. I'm hoping you're following and I'm hoping this is making sense. I know it's a lot to take in, but you know, you can do you can go back and forth through the video and stop and start and take notes where you need to i mean like i said there is a lot to unpack but if you are really serious about landing a sync opportunity there's a few more tips that you should know to really help boost your chances of making that happen stay tuned <laughs> Right, tip one, keep hold of all your assets. And what I mean by that is make sure you have all the versions, especially the main master version of your song. So we're talking radio, clean, instrumental, any other remixed version. And even in some cases, if you can get this, get the stems, the breakdown of the production. And this is just in case it's ever requested. Tip two, always have your artwork, lyric, press shots, and bio ready to go. These bits could also be needed on top of the licensing for advertising the sync. A lot of these would already form a part of your EPK, your electronic press kit. So you should have them close to hand just in case they're needed for any reason. Tip three, make sure your social media channels are active and engaging. I mean, this one's easy to forget about, but it will definitely work in your favor. Like I said before, social media is the biggest upcoming way to catch the eyes of prospective music supervisors. And just like that, that brings us to the end of the video. Now you know what sync licensing is and how we can work for you as an independent artist and the best ways to go about landing what could be a career changing sync deal. And remember, if you sign up to Ditto Music's publishing service, you can make your music eligible to be pitched for sync opportunities. Plus they'll also register your track for publishing royalties across the globe. But the important part is that you get to keep full ownership and copyright. So before you go, make sure you hit the link in our description to sign up or find out more about Ditto Music Publishing and what it can do for you. So from me, Vital, and the rest of the Ditto team, I wanna say love and respect. Make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a single video. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace and love.